Michelin Grilla. Raw spirit. You're drinking malt liquors because you're a cheap ass. Drinking craft beer. So we're going to barbecue today. So what better to have with barbecue than smoked German beer? Mmm. Good shit. So let's see what we're going to put on the grill. Oh look, some more German stuff. We have bratwursts. Some hamburgers, some steaks. Some noisy people driving by. Yeah, I see bratwurst on the burner. Cut up those hamburgers. That is some good stuff. If you haven't tried Rosh beer, give it a give it a try. Look, it's barbecue porn. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I got some uh Guinness too, but I thought no with barbecue. Let's do the let's do the Schlen curler. We're listening to the Chiefs probably lose again. Yeah, no, they suck. This year especially. Oh, for burgers. Well, at least the Chiefs aren't getting whooped near as bad as they have been. I still think it's kind of a really bad year for us. and stuff that I've been doing and, and like I said with the spit grain video that I did and stuff hopefully I'm going to come up with some more ideas for that because like I said I love to brew and I hate the idea of throwing the grains out because if I do throw them out here in my compost bin uh, the dogs eat them anyway so I might as well make treats out of them but I've got some treats for people that I'm going to try to make with them so I uh, can do that and hopefully I'll have some more brewing videos. I've got to. I have decided that even though buying the kits is, is easy, um, you know, I mean, you get beer out of it and it's like somebody's already done all the work for it. But I personally enjoy doing the recipe myself. Uh, I get a lot more enjoyment out of it that way and stuff than just, you know, throwing together something that somebody else has thought of. And I do like the smaller batches. Uh, it's easier for me to handle because, like I said, I have a bad back. So it's easier for me to do the smaller batches and actually control them a little bit better. So I'll probably be doing some more of the, the two and a half gallon batches like I have been doing. 
I'll be doing some more things with the spent grain. Hopefully I have a pizza dough recipe and stuff that I want to try that also. And, you know, just uh, some more brewing videos and, you know, just outdoorsy stuff. Hopefully and stuff. I hope we get to go camping some more. And maybe, maybe if we're lucky, um, I'll get to take you along with a trip to Herman, Missouri because I don't know if any... How many people are familiar with Herman? But uh, it's a great big German town, and there's a lot of wineries in Herman, Missouri, and a lot of historic stuff there. So hopefully, and stuff, I can actually maybe get to go camping in Herman or whatever, or at least let's make a day trip out of it, and we can go to the Stonehill Winery, uh, maybe the Hermanhof Winery, Tin Mill Brewing, uh, and my personal favorite, Adam Pukta. Uh, to me, out of all of them, Adam Pooja actually has the best wines. It's a small family-owned brewery. It's or not brewery, winery. It's a small family-owned winery, and I just really like their wreath and staller wine. But uh, you know, it's just a really pretty river town. And, and if they were lucky or whatever, we'll get to go on a trip there. I do want to go camping some more, and it's like I said, I pro had promised to try to do some cast iron Dutch oven cooking. And it's like I said, if we can get away for a weekend, maybe I can actually do some videos on that. I know that uh, deer season's here, bow season's here, and I've already had one call. So possible maybe European mount or full shoulder mount, I don't know yet. But I, the, as hot as it has been this year, I just, I just didn't get around to finishing up my work like I normally would have. So I'm just a little bit behind on everything. So, anyway. So, hopefully I keep you entertained. If y'all have any ideas of videos maybe you'd like to see that I could possibly do, I'm not going to do anything bizarre. But if you have any ideas or whatever, just, uh, just, you know, just make a comment. We'll see if I can't do something like that. So, I think we're going to get ready to put the steaks in here real quick. And these steaks, I marinated them in some, I think it was either McCormick or Lowry, I can't remember. But it's some kind of a bourbon, brown sugar bourbon marinade. So let's see what that looks like. Let me zoom in on this. And I like my steaks medium, medium rare. So we'll see if I can't crank this up so I get a good sear on there. I'll try to get my uh, immersion chiller to where I can actually use it in the wintertime without making a gigantic ice rink. And I think I'm going to recirculate the water and do it that way. So hopefully I'll have that little project on hand too. So. This video is getting really long, so I apologize. I'm going to get steaks on here real quick. you got to love me a good steak. Medium rare and none of that well done shit. Blah. I'm going to slap the shit off its ass and knock the horns off it. That's the way I like mine. So, anyway, we'll cook these and stay tuned, guys.